Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys five tips for how you can improve your realism and make your drawings look even more realistic. So whilst I'm discussing this, I'm also going to be drawing a really realistic looking spoon and I will be talking about why I think these kinds of objects are important to draw in order to improve your realism. But anyway, let's get straight on with today's discussion. Okay, so my first tip is to really focus on understanding your fundamentals before you go in and try to do things like a full portrait or an animal study or anything like that. So how will you be able to render a realistic portrait if you don't yet understand things like value, contrast, shading or blending? So instead of jumping into something like a full portrait, I really recommend doing a series of studies of smaller objects like what I'm doing here with this spoon and this will help you kind of understand the values, how to create three dimensional looking objects so that when you go in to do a full portrait you won't feel overwhelmed by all of the different shadows and things that you've got to kind of make look realistic. You'll have more of the skills and you'll feel more confident going in and tackling something like that. So also if you're doing something like a face I recommend practicing studies on all of the individual features and look at the way each feature works and the shadows and the highlights and the kind of structure of each feature before you go in and do a full portrait. And this will just really help build your confidence and will stop you becoming unmotivated and disappointed in your work. With this realistic spoon, I have got a real-time version over on my Patreon so that you can follow along with me and learn things like value, shading, blending, and how to add contrast. I really go through that step-by-step -step with you over on there as well. Anyway, on to tip number two, which is to try and critique your own work. So as they say, practice does make perfect, but if you're just practicing the same mistakes over and over again, then how will this make you improve? So what I recommend doing is after you do a study or a drawing, really look at it and see what you want to improve on next time. Or even better, you can have someone else critique your work as well for you. So someone that you know is going to be honest with you. So a family member or a friend, anyone that's going to be honest and really give you constructive criticism. So this means that next time you'll have things that you want to improve on and so you're always going to be improving rather than just repeating the same mistakes. So it is really important to practice but you want to create good habits rather than bad habits. So make sure that you're critiquing yourself in order to keep improving. Okay so tip number three is to really take your time. So one of the biggest reasons I see over and over again for people not getting the results that they want and their drawing not looking realistic is because they are rushing through the drawing and they aren't taking enough time to really get the soft shading, build up the layers and get that correct sort of contrast. So try to spend even more time on your next drawing and also treat every aspect of the drawing with the same amount of importance. So for example, the background is just as important as the main subjects. And if you rush through that part, it will be really evident and you'll be able to tell. So give every part of the drawing an equal amount of attention and just spend some extra hours really looking at each part of the drawing, looking at the details, the way the shadows fall and just but work on that soft shading and build building up those layers and that extra time really will make your drawing look even more realistic. Okay, so tip number four is to use a reference photo. So when you're doing realism, it's so important to use a reference photo. It's going to be near impossible for you to try and imagine where all of the shadows are gonna fall, where all of the details are, where all the highlights are. With realism, it's just hard to imagine all that. So it's not, there's no shame in using a reference photo, so definitely make use of one. And there's lots of great websites where you can get royalty-free reference photos that you can use and you can sell your work from. So one great one that I like is pixabay.com and that's really good at giving loads of royalty free photos for you guys. Also if you take them yourself that's brilliant as well. Okay so my last tip is also to make sure that when you do your initial sketch that it's really really accurate before you go in and try to add all of your shading. So quite a lot of the time people do their initial sketch, they get halfway through their shading process and they realize that their proportion in one area was a bit off. But at that point, it's too late to go and try to change your sketch because you've already done lots of layers on the paper. And so a lot of people have to start over again. So there's lots of methods that you can use to get an accurate sketch. 
I like to use sometimes a monitor or a light box just to transfer it on straight over or you can use a drawing grid to help you have some guidelines or you can even just freehand it. I like to freehand but use my pencil to help measure certain points. I've also done a whole tutorial series of this over on my Patreon as well this month so if you want to learn how to get an accurate sketch then I've also got that on there as well in real time. So anyway guys, that is my five tips for how you can improve your realism. I hope you found them useful and you learned something new. Please just keep going with it and you will be able to persevere and get really realistic looking drawings. Thank you guys for watching. I will leave a link to my Patreon down below so that you can check that out. Also, all the materials that I'm using are listed in the description for this drawing as well. If you're new to my channel and you wanna see even more tutorials and drawing videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tick that bell icon to get notified on my future videos. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.